현재 외국인 여행객들이 엄청나게 늘어나고 있습니다. 올해 상반기 한국을 찾은 외국인 여행객들은 소규모 인원으로 온 경우가 많았는데요. 이전까지 한류팬 위주의 단체 관광이 많았다면 이제는 커플과 부부, 가족 단위로 한국을 찾고 있죠. 호주 부부 스티브와 미셸은 지난달 난생 처음 한국을 찾았는데요. 스티브와 미셸은 유튜브뿐만 아니라 여행과 요리 관련 웹사이트 운영하면서 페이스북, 인스타그램, 트위터에서 큰 인기를 누리는 호주 최고의 SNS 스타 부부입니다. 그들은 수많은 나라를 여행했지만 한국에서의 첫인상을 아마도 네가 가장 좋아하는 나라가 될것 같다고 영상을 시작합니다. 이 영상에는 수많은 외국인들의 댓글이 달렸는데요. 13개국을 가봤지만 한국이 최고입니다. 안전하고 재미있고 편리하고 깨끗하고 친절한 사람들과 음식을 좋아합니다. 실수로 가방을 놓고 2시간 후에 돌아왔는데 아무도 건드리지 않았습니다. 한국에 거주하는 외국인으로서 말하자면 서울은 현금을 거의 사용하지 않습니다. 내일 카드가 작동하지 않는 곳이 없으며 환전 수수료가 훨씬 적습니다. 녹지로 둘러싸인 매우 깨끗하고 아름다운 도시. 북한과 사실상 전쟁을 치르고 있는 상황이지만 이 나란 유난히 안전해서 이상할 정도입니다. 젊은 여성이 밤에 자유롭게 다닐 수 있는 세계에서 몇안 되는 나라 중 하나입니다. 과연 스티브와 미셸이 한국에서 받은 첫인상은 어땠을까요? We're in Seoul, South Korea. Very excited because it's firstly the weather is beautiful. It's not super hot. It's blue skies. It rained when we arrived yesterday. It was absolutely pouring with rain, but today is gorgeous. And you know you're in South Korea. Look at these rooftops of this building here. How beautiful is that? So we're just going to have a walk around, explore, and. We'll be seeing South Korea as you're seeing South Korea. So happy to be here, Michelle. Happy to be here. Beautiful day. Yes, It's probably about. So we've got to go for a little walk today, try and find some cash. So let me just check the Naver Maps app and see which way we've got to go. Lovely looking building. It's a cafe and the Seoul Do Hwan Amun traditional. Theatre. That's very pretty. Let me just have a quick look in there. Show you in there very quickly, because this is my first real taste of Korea. How pretty is this little courtyard? So this is some sort of cafe restaurant here, and on here is some sort of tourist information or some theatre. I can't even recall the suburb that we're in. Can you remember the name of the suburb, Michelle? Jongo. <sighs> Michelle did the research. She says it's a good suburb. We had a little walk around last night, and it was amazing. Just the food around outside in these streets. But for now, nice uh, crossings, and I think the vehicles do stop. Yeah, vehicles stop for you. Then you've got the the press button. <laughs> 창덕공항은 평단도도입니다. Talk to you. That beautiful temple over there. I'll probably keep the camera. Oi. 창덕공항은 평단. Oh, we can cross. Ah, and you're meant to be on this side. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they even have crossings. Mind you, not everybody's paying attention to that. If you can see behind, everyone's all over the place. But uh, you know, it's all very orderly. Look at the scale of this. Gate here. We're not going in to these places. We just want to have a walk around. I love the size of these steps. Big granite stone steps. So good for little legs. Look at this place. It's so clean. I'm sorry. We've just we've just come from Vietnam. As you know, we had a great time in Vietnam. But my lord, it feels so much more European. So much cleaner here in South Korea. Immediately, the streets are absolutely pristine. The zebra crossings actually work. The pedestrian crossings—we call them zebra crossings because they, American friends, zebra crossings. Now, I don't know what mountain range is behind us, but it is beautiful. Look at that—that that mountain range. Oh, that's nice. They put a little umbrella. Gives a bit of shade while we're waiting. It is cool, Michelle. Literally. Cool. So we can get a little shade, and I'll just pause this while we wait for the lights to change. We've got the green man, and everybody dutifully is crossing. But something is going on over here. Let's have a little uh, 
Look, I think it's a street performer actually. Oh yes, yeah, an escape artist. He's certainly got the crowd and he's out. Who'd have thought? Absolutely. I thought he'd be there for years. years. Absolutely, no way he's going to escape. Not stood up on that block like that. It was a bit hot, he needs to get that jacket off. <laughs> it's a warm day today. So this is definitely a city of extremes. You've got these super modern, may I say, ugly buildings um, mixed in with a beautiful old tradition, but they kept a really nice blend of the old traditional buildings. I suppose at some point modernity has to uh, come to every big city. When you look at this, and it's not a big building, it's maybe about uh, 10 or 15 stories high, and we compare it to this little building, which is not the prettiest example of this timber clad building here. I know which I'd prefer. Not a brilliant example. I'm trying to show the extreme contrast, Michelle, of modernity and old Korean. So it's a pretty little canal, very clean water, just running through the city center here. You can see people crossing on the little stepping stones. Very pretty. And this road is closed. See, this is like downtown, almost any big city, but not in this region. I mean, m most of the downtowns in this region are just crap everywhere. <laughs> the pavements are uneven. Um, now, Korea is super modern, uh, super clean. It's just a, an absolute pleasure and the weather I think I've said it already. It's perfect, perfect weather. Okay, so this place you order your coffee, a little bit like a Mackie D's, come in, tap here, uh, or here. But who would drink there when there's a beautiful Starbucks over here? Oh man, hey. You dare, you absolutely dare go into Starbucks if you're in South Korea. You support the local businesses. Not only are you gonna get better quality, more knowledgeable coffee service than you will in Starbucks. Um, you're also just gonna be having a better time. 여러분의 소중한 의견을 남겨주세요. 바쁘시더라도 구독과 좋아요 부탁드립니다. 지금까지 단골이시였습니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.